It's freaking raining. It's winter time and it's raining again. Like, wow. What This is quite the winter we're having. Anyway, uh, today I was cleaning out my supplementation uh, cupboard and I came upon uh, one of the supplements that I was I bought to per or I purchased to take and I haven't taken it yet. And um, I do have um, actually two supplements that I don't take and I kind of I kind of stockpiled them for the sake that uh, if anything because I did have skin cancer so if anything came about that I would have to do radiation or chemo I wanted to make sure that I had something to help with those after effects and that's why I'm, what I'm going to talk about today is I bought a thing called Corella and I also bought some oregano and I make my own oregano oil now when you have cancer if you go through radiation and you go through uh, chemo a particular thing happens when you go through radiation it's almost like putting your body into a microwave because the same process happens when you cook a uh, food in a microwave so what happens is the cancer cells will magnify very very quickly and they will magnify so fast that they blow up they literally pop and that's why it's called apoptosis so radiation and chem chemotherapy actually create apoptosis in your cancer cells and that's how they kill the cancer cells however I don't know if you're aware of this and I just found this out because I'm interested in immunotherapy where you help the body to fight the cancers instead of introducing chemo and radiation it's not as hard and so um, I researched it and a lot of the hospitals, especially cancer clinics, um, and a lot of them are doing a trial on this where they're doing the immunotherapy by helping the body to fight the cancer cells. And part of that process is with um, getting rid of the toxins that are in your body from the cancers. Now, a lot of the times if you go through chemo or radiation, they're supposed to help you get rid of the toxins. So they'll give you a, a pill um, to take after you leave the hospital that helps you to clear out those, um, and they're called free radicals. What happens is, so let's let's do the the chemo and this is just kind of a layman's way of just kind of telling you what happens so you do the chemotherapy and you do the radiation therapy right and so what happens is the cancer cells die apoptosis is created and the cancer cells die well when the cancer cells die they float around your system because they have no other way to get out of your system right so those um it's basically like well it's called free radicals and that is the garbage that's left over from the chemo and the radiation therapy. Now, what happens is your body goes through a process of autophagy where it actually eats the dead cells. So any cells that are floating around as free radicals, the mitochondria will eat them to get rid of them. However, it doesn't necessarily get rid of them because the, the uh, mitochondria will eat them, but then the mitochondria poop. Just like, I mean, just like we poop. Everybody's got to poop, right? <laughs> if you have a good poop every day, you're doing just great, right? So anyway, the mitochondria will poop. And those, um, the poop that comes out is, once again, it's a free radical. So it's kind of like your body sees these free radicals, it eats it, it poops it out. It eats it, it poops it out. So it's a continual process. So your mitochondria can become very tired. They can, I mean, seriously, if you're eating poop all day, I can imagine how tired it would be, right? And it will, it can destroy your mitochondria. And you need your mitochondria because it is that, almost like that, that your body's vacuum system to protect it from free radicals and things that are in your body that are toxins. So to protect the free rat or to protect the um, mitochondria, what they suggest is that you take chlorella. Chlorella is a herb, and they also suggest that you uh, kind of double bind it, chlorella and also oregano oil or oregano itself, right? Um, and so those two things, what happens when you introduce chlorella or oregano into your system, they will bind with the free radicals that are in your system. And instead of it being a continual cycle and left in your body and circulating in your body to then be eaten by the mitochondria and pooped out and then re-eaten again, you know, type of thing, what happens is the corella and the oregano will bind with the free talk or the, uh, the, the radicals, the free radicals. 
and it will bind with it and you will poop it out of your body see what i'm saying so you know it doesn't hurt for me to stockpile on them because i do have uh, skin cancers and they do come back i get the lesions that they come back i did have one close to my eye and i treated it with um the iodine and the perox or the iodine and the baking soda and it worked i had any time that you have a growth that is growing out of control where the cells are changing right where the shape is changing where the color is changing where the uh, sides are becoming elevated that's something you have to worry about especially in my circumstance where i've had carcinomas and i've had melanomas and so i'm very very cautious with that and so there was a mole well it was a ward i think beside my eye i don't know if you can see it beside my eye and it was getting exactly what I said a difference in color the the sides were getting magnified it was getting elevated and so I started using the iodine I put a little bit of iodine on it and I was very very careful to keep it away from my eye my like my pupil but I would put a dollop of uh, the iodine then I would put the baking soda on sometimes I would put like a little piece of a band-aid there to cover up to make sure that it didn't go near my my pupil of my eye Okay, so I'm not suggesting anyone else do this. This is what I do. If you have something that you want to do, that's up to you and perhaps your doctor. I, on the other hand, don't have a doctor, so I am treating myself. And this is working for me, specifically for me. And so what's happened is, if you notice, the uh, mole has gone down. It's dry. And literally, the skin is peeling off, but the the mole or the wart or whatever it was the growth is gone and that is what i'm vying for i'm trying as hard as i can to make sure that the growth that i do find on my face especially on my face now i do have some on my chest but i'm very vigilant with them and i did have one on my breast and it also i treated it with baking soda and iodine and i had a video on my previous channel that i deleted and I had shown uh, how I treated my breast and I showed how the uh, the mole had disappeared. So it does work. It's working for me. So, you know, I'm very, very vigilant on that. But the reason why I was interested in this immunotherapy is because of the fact that I do have melanomas. And you never know, one of these days, it mightn't work for me. Maybe I'm going to have to go further um, with my treatment of my moles and things like that and that is a concern so i did buy corella i've also bought uh moringa and moringa i use it as a blood thinner however i haven't been using it lately but the corella is an important aspect of um your body's autophagy instead of your mitochondria you know eating uh the free radicals pooping them out and then having to re-eat them i mean you would get tired of the same type of dinner all the time wouldn't you well i'm sure your mitochondria do however your mitochondria can get um weakened so your vacuum system in your body to clean your body out it can get weakened from that continual um, having to eat those free radicals and it's constantly left in your system so it's important after chemo or radiation therapy that you get rid of the free radicals created by that process in fighting the cancer so you know that's just a little bit of information that I found out I just thought it was really uh, intriguing it was important for me to watch and important for me to find out about and I'm very vigilant I'm not a sheep I'm not going to believe everything or every little bit of rhetoric that's posted especially where I am living because where I'm living we're not allowed to uh, you know have our own belief system uh, and <laughs> I'm not like that. I'm, I'm nobody's sheep. I'm not going to follow the crowd. I'm going to do things in my own style, my own way. And you know, if, if uh, that way doesn't meld with yours, well, so be it. I'm okay with that. You can call me a conspiracy theorist. You can call me a, a fool. I don't care. But I'm thriving in my own way, in my own space, and with my own brain. So I shall see you in the next video. And hopefully if I've encouraged you to research the hell out of it. So I'll see you on the next video. The good Lord be willing. Bye-bye.